Hi and welcome! My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at the F2 function key as a way to immediately begin editing your active cell, as well as an alternate method to achieve the same result. So with that, let's get started. All right, so we have a Excel workbook open here where in order to examine the next few keyboard shortcuts, we're going to pretend that we have a company here, a book seller. And again, they have four quarters. They're selling different numbers of books in each quarter. They're selling it, I guess, in this point, it would be in renminbi or Chinese Yuan. And the revenue is a product of the number of units sold times the price. So in this keyboard video or in this in this actual independent video, we're going to look at a keyboard shortcut so that we can automatically edit this cell here. So maybe we can change the name. If we wanted to do this efficiently, the fastest way to do this is to press the F2 key. Pressing the F2 function key will automatically move you from being on the cell, such as this, this is the case where we're on the cell. And then when we press F2, we're in the cell and we can start making additional edits. So the alternative to using the F2 function key is either to double click into that cell and then you can make more edits. You can click on the cell and you can come up here to the function box and you can make more edits. Or you could come in here and just start typing. But I really like the idea of using the F2 function key because the F2 function key, once you have that cell selected, you press the F2 function key and then you can select whatever text you want and you could say this is books and more company. Then you press the enter key as we discussed in an earlier video and you would move down to the next cell. So again, if you wanted to edit this formula or you wanted to edit this, rather than double clicking and editing it, you could just press the F2 function key, you could change this to 34, and then press the enter key or the tab key, shift tab or shift enter or control enter, and you would be able to make that change immediately. I find that this is really useful when you have large amounts of data that you wanna change, you just come up, press the F2 function key, press enter, F2 function key, press enter. We could maybe call this the PM or something, press enter. And you can very efficiently change the information in a specific cell. So again, in this video, we focused on using the F2 function key, which once you have that cell selected, you press F2, you can make your changes, press enter, or an alternative to that would be either to double click into that cell and make your changes. You could come up here into the function bar here, make your changes, or you could just click on that cell and then start typing. So you could call it shu. Shu means French, um, it means book in Chinese. So shu, <laughs> shuko maybe would be the book company. In any case, there are multiple ways that you can access a cell and go from being on top of the cell to in the cell where you can actually make edits. But my favorite way is by far to use the F2 function key. So with that, in our next video, we'll look at the idea of using the escape key so that we can cancel any changes that we've made while editing the contents of a cell. So check that out in our next video and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.